of giveaways ends with a bang as I visited Curios at the Dodger Stadium recently. Kilalanin po natin ang film behind the circus tent. Panoorin natin to. Mga kababayan, ako po si G. Tonji. Ang lamig na ng panahon, talagang Paskong Pasko na. And we have a very special surprise for all of you. Alam nyo ba na the circus is in town? Curios, uh, of course, by Cirque du Soleil. And we are featuring a Filipino-American that has been part of this production for the past eight years. Kilalani natin siya, si Ariel Layug. Hello, Ariel! Hello, kamusta, G? Uy, impressed ako! <laughs> I'm uh, one of the cooks, the chef for Cirque du Soleil. Oh my goodness, what an amazing opportunity. Okay, alam naman natin ang mga Pilipino, they love to eat, right? <laughs> so what do you prepare for the people here at Sir? Well, we have about uh, 19 different nationalities, so we have to be really diverse with our food. Um, we try as much as possible to, you know, um, to accommodate to everyone's needs as well. Like we have different allergies, we have some vegetarians. Um, so you have, you need a really, really broad um, palate to be able to, uh, you know, um, cook for the people. But uh, in general, a lot of them are well-traveled. A lot of them are very open-minded. So you can try almost any kind of food and um, they're very happy with it. Okay. Well, a little bit of background on Ariel. Ariel moved from the Philippines to Sydney, Australia at the tender age of 16, yeah. right? And uh, when you moved, when did you decide na gusto mo talagang i-pursue ang pagluluto? Um, it happened by accident. Um, I was actually studying architecture. Um, and then as a part-time job, I was working in kitchens to just get a little bit extra money, you know, so I can have something to spend. Ang suerte mo naman, and now you get to travel the world uh, cooking and doing what you love? That's it. You know, it, like, it, it, you never know where the world is going to, or where the universe is going to take you. You just have to, you know, step into it and and try and try to follow your heart as well. Well, you really followed your heart and that is why now you're in Los Angeles. And tell us about, I heard that today is a very special day because one of the flags is now represented here at Curios for Cirque du Soleil. Tell us about that. That's right. So um, part of, I guess, uh, the program of being very inclusive here at Cirque du Soleil is everyone's um, birthplace is represented um, by the row of flags in the front of the tent. Um, and uh, for the first time, there's going to be a Filipino flag. Um, I, it's something that uh, you know I only requested recently. So I'm very happy and it just so happens by coincidence that it was today that they put it up. We are so, so, so proud of the work that you do and it's because of people like you that us Filipinos are represented on such big productions such as Cirque du Soleil. Now let's talk about Curios. Everybody's excited. Curios is in town. What can people expect? Well, Curious is about um, it's more about a feeling than any kind of expectation. When you come in, you kind of get lost a little bit into this other world where everything just seemed possible. It was set at a time around the 1900s when electricity was discovered and, you know, people were still trying to figure things out. There were still places that no one has been to and things that no one has seen. And, um, you know, the whole feeling of the show is really trying to get us back into that. When I first saw it, um, when I first started, I felt like it was the very first time I've seen the circus. Because, you know, it, it really makes you uh, feel that sense of discovery. Wow, you're, you're a great spokesperson, Ariel. I would be surprised that you're not in the circus. Okay, well, we have a very exclusive sneak peek because Ariel is taking us into his kitchen. So mga kababayan, please join us here on Kababayan today uh, as we get to know the work that Ariel Layug does. What we're preparing tonight is we're making some chicken adobo, um, but it's a little bit more on the modern side. We're making a snapper ginataan with uh, mango salsa. Uh, we're making um, puki puki, which is like the, um, the eggplant, uh, fired eggplant salad, but uh, it's gonna be on a skillet with some eggs. We're making a sinkama salad, 
a cucumber salad and a baby corn salad. You know, we're just gonna mix in the sinkamas with it. Uh, this is the sinkamas, which is uh, jicama in uh, Spanish. It's very crunchy. It's got the same crunch as an apple, but it's a little sweet, like uh, almost like sugar um, when the season is right. So later on, we're just gonna put some fresh herbs in this and it's pretty much uh, ready for tonight. So this style of sudoku comes from my mom's side, which is from Batangas. It's what they call a red adobo, and the red coloring is from anato seeds, which is a, a plant that's native to uh, the Americas, but has been naturalized in the Philippines. Now I'm just putting some garlic aioli, which is just a mayonnaise made from um, garlic that has been cooked really, really slowly. just some tea eggs which is like a hard cooked egg that you braise in soy sauce and some tea and here I have some fried uh, Japanese shisito peppers my version of uh, adobong Tagalog have some coconut milk and some gata. Unfortunately, we only use the canned ones. <laughs> Just a little bit of uh, scallions for color. So that's uh, ginataang isda. Mga kababayan, please like our Kababayan Today Facebook page and send us a photo of you being silly like a clown to win tickets to watch Curious here in Los Angeles. Maraming salamat po sa pagnood ninyo ng ating programa ngayong araw na ito at enjoy po tayong lahat sa ating Noche Buena Mamayang Gabi. Maraming salamat po.